everybody, my name is Destiny. I post DIY, home decor, and thrift flip videos. I post every Sunday. Today we're going to be doing the faux ceramic paint and baking soda trick. And I hope that you enjoy today's video. Before we get into the video, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can stay tuned for next week's video. Also, make sure to like my page on Instagram at destiny.designs and use the hashtag if you recreate anything at hashtag destiny designs. What you're going to need is paint brushes, a palette knife, a mixing bowl, paint, a reusable container, sharpie or paint pen, and paper to protect your surface. What I like to do first is to swatch my colors. So I'm just showing you what colors I chose and at the end I show you what colors I ended up going with. Because I picked a lot of colors because sometimes on the cards it doesn't really look like the same thing or, it's, or you just wanna see it painted on a different surface than a printed out copy. What you're going to do now is you're going to mix your paint and I like to take one part paint 1.5 parts baking soda and if you add too much baking soda the paint is going to chip eat very easily I found that out the hard way and I had to do more coats of paint next I just showed you that I got these little stands from the dollar section at Target and I just put on a thin coat of paint for the base layer and I don't even worry about making sure I do a texture or like crisscrosses because that will show later on as well and it won't make a difference if you do it one way or the other. Once I finished using all the paint in the color that I chose, I just used a reusable container and scooped it up and put it into that container so that I could use it for the second coat instead of wasting any of the paint. And I liked this because it actually worked. I was wondering if it would work or not, but it did. And that made me very happy because I did not have to waste paint to reuse for the second layer. This is what it looks like with the first coat of paint for these colors. And now that this one has had its first full coat of paint, so now I'm just going to show you how to add extra texture. And what I do is, is I do these little crisscross X motions and it gave it a lot of texture and it looked so good. And 
you just do that throughout the whole pot using a X motion. So this part is optional, but I just wanted to give some of my pots a little bit of a twist so that they're not just one solid color. So I decided to do this picture that I made on this pig so that I could give it a little bit of a boho look with all my other colors and kind of help tie in all the colors together with using just one item. And what I do is, is I do these little free-handed shapes that are just free and curvy and they don't have to go any way but I just kind of did these little weird shapes all over the pig with the different colors so that it would give the same look that I did in the picture. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take a paint pen or a sharpie and just roughly outline the shapes and I try to make it as messy as possible because I feel like that just looks better because I'm not trying to perfectly outline them I just want to give a look that they're kind of outlined and yeah and also I did two coats of paint for each spot for some of the colors for the blue and the green, I didn't have to, but for the other colors, it just needed two coats. And for two of the other pots, I wanted to do this abstract face line drawing. And this is my inspiration from Pinterest, but I just went for it. I feel like with this, this is something that you either draw it out before or you just wing it. And I decided I was just going to wing it because if I pre-drawed it, I knew I would be a perfectionist about it. And I really didn't want it to be something perfect. I wanted it to be something just cute and whimsical and I just love how it turned out. And here is what the other pot turned out to look like.
everything I made this week. I think my favorite things I made are the piggy bank and the uh, face planter. What was your fa favorite thing in the video? Please make sure to leave a comment down below so that you can let me know. I hope that you liked today's video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can see next week's video. Thank you and happy Sunday.